All right, we're going to take the smokestack steel mill and put it in standard form. So we're shipping from Anaheim, Birmingham, and Cleveland. And we're shipping to Detroit, uh, Fort Worth, and Elizabeth. <clears throat> so then we take the, the cost per unit, uh, shipping cost per unit. So $6 from Anaheim to Detroit. Um, Nine dollars from Anaheim to Fort Worth, and sixteen to Elizabeth. <clears throat> For uh, Birmingham to Detroit, it is eleven. Birmingham to Fort Worth is ten, and seven to Elizabeth. And finally, we have sixteen, twelve, and ten. Okay, that's my ship to costs. Now my demand. From Detroit, it's 150 units. My demand from Fort Worth is 200, and my demand from Elizabeth is 250. My supply from Anaheim is 200. My supply from Birmingham is 200, and my supply from Cleveland is 200. So now we have it in standard form. What we're going to ne do next is the initial feasible, and for this we're going to do use the lowest cost method. Just like lowest cost suggests, we pick out <clears throat> the, the box with the lowest shipping cost. On our chart here, $6 is our lowest shipping cost. So we want to fill that first. The demand from Detroit is 150 units, which brings our supply from Anaheim down to 50. The next lowest, ship, uh, next lowest shipping cost from Anaheim is $9, which brings our supply down to zero. So right now, Anaheim and Detroit are taken care of. <clears throat> so. Um, I have a demand still from Fort Worth for 150. My next lowest shipping cost here is from um, Birmingham. Brings this down to zero. Brings this over to 50. Uh, for Birmingham, my next, the 50 is here. So I've satisfied Fort Worth, I've satisfied Detroit, all I have to do is satisfy Elizabeth. My supply is gone from Anaheim and Birmingham, so the only place left I can get it is here. And that's my initial feasible solution.